Last month, my cousin got engaged and my family threw an engagement party. My mom called me ahead of time to warn me that my aunts were planning to talk some sense into me during the party. She told me, just listen to them. They're older and wiser and they want what's best for you. That was the last straw. I didn't go. Welcome to the Holland Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for skipping family events because they keep pushing me to get married after seven years in a relationship? But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge and many people's very poor life choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to instantly be notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. I want to thank Mary, a super fan, for sending this to me as part of the 35% of my subscribers who are female. Guys, this is an issue that some of you may face when you run into a family who wants to control your life choices and have a lot to say if you choose not to marry. In my opinion, if it gets too aggressive, you only have one solution which for many women will seem too extreme and difficult depending upon your culture and immediate family dynamic. In a situation like this, I know I would be very supportive of my woman if this was her. I, 30 female, have been in a committed relationship with my boyfriend, 32 male, for seven years. We're happy, we love each other, and we've built a life together that works for us. If you are in a relationship kind of person, that is what is important. And I commend you both for finding, maintaining, and working for what eludes so many. But here's the thing, we're not married and we're not in a rush to be. Marriage just isn't a priority for us right now. And we've talked about it and we're both on the same page. Excellent. So many couples are not on the same page. Hell, they're not even reading the same damn book. My family, however, cannot wrap their heads around this. Every family gathering turns into a circus about our lack of commitment. They say things like, what's wrong with him? Why hasn't he proposed? Or don't you think it's time to settle down? My mom especially has been relentless. She even cried during Thanksgiving dinner last year saying, She's failed as a mother because her daughter isn't married yet. What a manipulative little biatch. It's not about if you're happy. It's all about what matters to her. I can't help but wonder if she feels cheated out of being the motherzilla of the bride at your wedding and all of the validation that comes with it. What they don't know or choose to ignore is how deeply I fear ending up in a marriage like my parents. My dad left my mom for another woman when I was a kid and it destroyed her. Okay, hold up here. I'm not making excuses for your dad cheating. However, I can't help but wonder, based upon mom's behavior with you, if she didn't drive him away. Let's be clear. He should have divorced her first 
then taken up with another woman, and I hold him accountable for his cheating. She's still bitter and miserable about it. Even after all these years, I've seen what happens when a marriage goes wrong, and I don't want to rush into something just to meet society's expectations. The fact, quote, she's still bitter and miserable about it, even after all these years, speaks volumes about who she is as a person and a soul. I suspect she is one of those who couldn't keep a man if she tried. I have to ask, how many cats does she have? Last month, my cousin got engaged and my family threw an engagement party. My mom called ahead of time to warn me that my aunts were planning to talk some sense into me during the party. She told me, just listen to them. They're older and wiser and they want what's best for you. That was the last straw. I didn't go. Instead, I spent the day with my boyfriend. We cooked dinner, laughed, and talked about our future our way and on our terms. Good for you. Prioritize your mental health, your relationship, and your boyfriend. Also, not placing him in a position to have to step in and defend your choices with members of your family. Some men, like me, would have no problems telling your mom and aunts to shove it and to mind their own miserable relationships, as you will not be joining them in the old hag pity party corner. My phone started blowing up during the party. My mom was furious, accusing me of being disrespectful and selfish. One of my aunts sent me a text saying, if he really loved you, he would have proposed by now. Don't waste your youth on someone who doesn't see your worth. That one stung. Oh, hell no. I would have snatched that phone up so fast and tell mom if this is how she acts with her daughter, no wonder he dumped your ass for a younger, prettier model. Granted, moms get a little more leeway. However, you don't talk to my woman that way. Yes, I said my woman. And for you viewers who have a problem with that, well, too effing bad deal with my old school masculine value system. Now, my family is saying I ruined my cousin's engagement party by not showing up and that I embarrassed my mom. <laughs> she did that herself and didn't need any help from you, honey. They think I'm the problem for not wanting to engage in their lectures, but I feel like they're the ones crossing the line. Actually, I would agree with you. Am I the a-hole for skipping the party and prioritizing my peace over their outdated expectations? Or am I really being selfish by not listening to my family's advice? Right. The short answer is no, you are not the a-hole and you are not selfish. I don't know what your ethnic culture is since some are more traditional than others. However, I'm sorry and it's a shame you will need to cut your family off completely and go your own way. I'm talking about changing your number, closing down your social media, and making it virtually impossible for them to contact you. A few months later, you can re-establish with new private accounts for your inner circle. Inform all of your friends under penalty of death, your number is not to be given out and why. Make it clear, there is no sob story that is an exception to this rule. And in such a case, they can always pass along a message. 
Give this about a year and then get a burner phone, reach out and see if they've learned. If not, well, then it will be another year of extreme no contact, but peace in your relationship. If you are the 65% of men who find value in my channel and the 35% of women, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. Confession is good for the soul and this channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these if you're on YouTube and enjoy another one right now. Until next time.